Check out this pony corral and all the different textures from the smooth sticks that make up the fence to the rough styrofoam ground that's made to look like dirt and grass. You can get started by making your own fence. Take a look at the supplies you're going to need. You're going to use adhesive glitter sheets and stars, styrofoam sheets that are both thin and thick. I also have craft sticks and some twine, paint, glue, scissors, and paintbrush, and let's get started. So let's start out with the fence. What you're going to do is create a section for the side that looks like this. And what you'll do is layer your craft sticks together. So if you use a cutting mat, you can use it to measure while you lay things out and make sure that they're straight. So we'll start out by just layering these three sticks on top to create the fence. So these side pieces are going to be the posts. And so then, see the little dots on the mat? I can use those as my lines to make sure that it's straight. Okay, and then I'm going to just tack those down with some tacky glue. So to do that, just put a dot on each side. All right, and then work your way down each crosswise piece of the fence. So glue that all together, and you want to make sure that these stay straight, pretty straight, and then make sure that these ends come out to meet the end of the stick, like on this one. Now, this is the short section of the fence, so make four of these. Now, this is the long section of the fence, and it's a little bit different because you have to layer the crosswise pieces onto each post. See where the ends come together here to meet on the post? You're gluing those into place. So we'll just place another piece of fence post here and then glue this down. So we'll make a little dot, 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 and then glue this into place here. Then to make the other section, you'll make sure that your ends sort of go up against those pieces like this. So they're using the same post there. You might have to scoot this over a little bit so that you can get it into place. Okay, so you'll make this one and then add another section on the end. Basically, you're just making this side of the fence long enough to reach across the lengthwise portion of your foam block. Now you're ready to set these aside to dry. Okay, so let me move this one over a little bit and I'll show you how to paint. Pour some acrylic paint into your dish and use a dry paintbrush. And we're going to do a little bit of dry brushing technique, so you don't want to load a whole lot of paint onto the brush. So start brushing it, and see how you can still see some of that wood grain coming through? That's what's going to make it look like a real fence. So just brush your paint onto the wood, and make sure that you don't have so much glue or paint that you can still see the grain of the wood showing through. Now you're going to paint this whole piece, and of course, you'll let it dry, and then you'll flip it over and paint the other side. Because on the finished one, you can see both sides of the fence. So you wanna make sure it looks like a real fence for your ponies. Okay, so then set this to the side, let it dry, and then paint the other side. So I'm just going to move these out of the way, and then we're ready to decorate the ground. So here's our foam block. And this is green, you could use a white one and paint it, but I like the green because it looks like grass. So then what you'll do is measure a strip for each of the edges. And this is about two inches, but what you can do is just take your block and hold it up here along your adhesive sheet, and then run your pencil down the back of the sheet. Okay, and then you can cut this out with scissors. Okay, so you would just use, use some longer scissors so you get some nice long cuts like that. Cut this all the way out, and then you have your strip that you can put onto your foam block. So for this, what you'll do is peel the backing away and then place it onto the long side of the foam block. So here's our space. I've already started wrapping the foam around. Just make sure that you don't pull this to stretch it at all when you're putting it on. You just want to place it right on to the piece of foam. And then any place where you have a seam, you can cover it with one of these adhesive stars. Or if you're cutting your stars out yourself, then you can use craft glue to glue these on. Okay, so the last step is to attach our fence. 
And what I really recommend is to press this into the block, start at the center, press it down like this all along the edge. Make sure that you have it in and then take it back out and add some glue. Okay, so you can either add the glue to the stick or you can put it on the space even on your block. So here it is on here, here it is on the block. Either way, you just wanna make sure that some glue gets down into your post hole. So press this down, and then you'll do this on all the sides, and then um, you'll be ready to add some rope. So let me show you adding the rope to the finished one. Set this one aside. So you have your rope, and what you do is tie a knot around the end post. Okay, so just a, any kind of knot will do. You just want it to be secure. Take your string, pass the end through the loop, and then overlap it to the next post. Now when you come to a corner, just go ahead and wrap it around the corner like that, or you can tie it in a knot there. Then let it hang down and tie it around your next post. You can either tie it or you can let it loop. If you'd like a more girly look, then you can paint the fences white and use flowers instead of stars. And also think about at the bottom, if you don't wanna use that foam around the bottom, you can use decorative paper or you could use ribbon to decorate it.